None of us will ever forget those dramatic days in July and August 2014 when the advancing forces of ISIS overran first of all Mosul and then the towns and the villages of the Nineveh plains. The Christian inhabitants were only able to escape with their bare lives. 120,000 Christians fled with little more than the clothes on their backs. I would like to give a personal face to these events, which we all know about. And so I would like to tell you about the experience of two elderly ladies during this time. Their names are Gazella and Victoria, and both of them are widows, age 80, and they have lived all their lives in the same Christian village of Karamez. On the night on the 6th of August 2014, word spread through the village that forces on ISIS were about to invade. Suddenly, everyone fled, and the whole village evacuated except for a few. Victoria and Gazella were too frail to leave, and so locked themselves in their homes, hoping and praying that ISIS would not come. Next morning, they ventured out of their homes and went to mass at the nearby church of Sedanai. They tried the door of the church, locked. Nobody around. They feared the worst. For four days, they stayed in their homes. Supplies were running dangerously low. Eventually, ISIS tracked them down, and they were frog marched to a hill on the edge of Karamles, alongside with 10 or a dozen other Christians who had also been caught by ISIS. Victoria explained what had happened next. The militant told us, you must convert. They said that their faith could promise us paradise. Paradise? Then Gazala spoke up, we believe that if we show love and kindness, forgiveness and mercy, we can bring about the kingdom of God on earth as well as in heaven. Paradise is about love. If you want to kill us for our faith, then we are prepared to die here and now. The ISIS commander had no answer. They were ordered to leave the town. Fortunately, one of the Christians assembling there had an old car and was able to ferry the oldest and most frail, including Victoria and Gazella, to safety. Victoria is living now in Jordan, while Gazella has been now able to return to Karamles. But in order to give you a true picture of the full measure of what these people suffered, I would have to tell you 120,000 different personal stories, each revealing the fate of the individual human being. 